John Train, an American author and an investment advisor once said, For the investors who know what he is doing, volatility creates opportunities. There have been heightened market volatility in recent times due to various external and domestic factors. Seasoned long-term investors regard these volatile phases as inherent part of the markets. For others, it can lead to fear and panic. Hello, I am Vidhan Tharad and in the next few minutes, we will try and give you some insights on navigating market volatility for your advantage. One of the toughest experiences of an investor is dealing with volatile markets. It questions their ability to avoid market noises, coping with uncertainty of returns, and to continue staying invested for their goals. But history has proven that those who endure these times of market volatility are the ones who get the real benefits of investing. Market goes through cycles and investor sentiment is one of the main variables that has an impact on market performances. If history is any guide, then you can see extreme pessimism steadily move towards skepticism and then towards euphoria. Extreme pessimism is the time when investors should remain patient to avoid negative impact on their investments. At SBI Mutual Funds, we have an Equity Sentiment Index or ESI that substantiates this very point. The ESI is a gauge of investor sentiment across the fear and greed spectrum. It is essentially a contrarian indicator. That is, when sentiments are pessimistic, it usually implies good entry points. And when sentiments are euphoric, it is a time to be cautious. Now, let us look at how an investor's journey of wealth creation has been over a longer period of time. The chart you can see here shows the historical relationship between an investor sentiment and market performance. As you can see in the long run, it is the recovery succeeding these sharp falls which serves as a reward to the patient investors. Thus, what we can infer here is that market events are short-term distractions and the real picture emerges only when we see it from a long run, say a 5-year perspective. As we can see from this table, it is imperative for an investor aiming for wealth creation to ride through these times of distractions. The positive CAGR returns over the long run are the sweet rewards for the patient investors. Now, we often hear from global investment gurus that equities are less riskier over a longer period. But does it hold true for Indian markets? Yes, it certainly does. The probability of loss is very high for short holding periods. As you can see from the chart here, which represents the rolling return data of Nifty 50 since its inception, the risk comes down when the holding period increases. Now that we have seen the benefits that an investor endures through the volatile phases of market, let us now understand how he can capitalize this opportunity. Charles Ellis, a famous author said, and I quote, the average long-term experience in investing is never surprising, but the short-term experiences is always surprising. As drawdowns due to market volatility cannot be ruled out. In short run, in the long term, an investor should expect more normalized market returns. And what about timing the markets? Many a time, when bad news hits stock markets, investors generally redeem their investments and run for the exits. This is the worst thing an investor can do. Weathering volatility or simply doing nothing can be a far better strategy. And buying when everybody is selling might be even more effective. When expectations are low and any improvement in global economic outlooks can drive strong market gains. As in this chart, some of the strongest days of the market has occurred during these periods of high volatility. And missing out on just a handful of these days can be devastating for an investor's long-term return. For example, a notional investment of 1000 rupee made on January 2000 would have grown to a CAGR of 11.01% to Rs 10,812 as on July 22. However, just by excluding the 30 best performing days, during this same period, the CAGR drops to a mere 2.19% to Rs 
and returns only rupees 1666 so should you remain invested during significant drawdowns you may ask the chart plots calendar year returns along with maximum drawdowns during their respective years as you can clearly see large intra year declines is no way diminishing the likelihoods of positive annual returns here for instance despite sharp intra year falls the nifty has delivered negative returns only in 8 calendar years out of 31 years want to make volatility your best friend embrace equity as you can see the more you capitalize on periods of market corrections with the equity driven portfolio the risk tolerance does pay you back just be watchful that you ride through and stay put enduring volatility and capitalizing on it is just half begin what is equally important for investor is to remain focused on their life goals and grow their wealth with time what we have understood till now is hold tight and reap right simple economics the longer the holding period the potential of relatively better and consistent returns over their investments however the proof of the pudding is when instances of higher return gets maximized with longer time frames in this chart as you can see that in the longer holding period set 10 years the probability of an investor getting a return in excess of 10 percent is almost 80 percent which is much higher as compared to a three year or a five year holding period we spoke about the power of equity as an asset class earlier there is really no way better to cushion oneself from inflation than investing in equities equity has the ability to unlock the real growth potential of money in the long run in the chart here as you can see equity towers over any other investment types and helps you counter inflation and hold your money's worth what do you think is the easiest way through which an investor can participate in the long term equity journey yes it is a simple three letter word called sip or systematic investment plan the power of sip can never be underestimated in the short run the stock market is indeed prone to intensive swings in both directions but longer you invest within sip the range of negative outcomes becomes narrower and lower is the risk of losing money as you see from the chart here when we gradually move towards the right side of the table which reflects the longer investment tenures the variance between the maximum and the minimum possible returns gets narrower isn't that a wonderful thing for an investor so in conclusion if you want to tackle volatility in an effective manner remember the three mantras endure capitalize and grow thank you i hope you found this useful till next time stay safe and happy investing mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully